Good morning. Good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Praise his name. Give him glory. Give him hallelujah. Give him the glory. What is due. Hallelujah. So I'm going to make this one short. Um, hello, everyone. Go ahead. Please press tag and share. Um, excuse me, yesterday, I, I don't know, after I did that video, you know how the enemy doesn't like the truth, right? I hope you know that anyway. I got really just under the weather, so I couldn't do anything but rest. Praise God, hallelujah to his name. So, I'm going to make this one very short and to the point. I'm going to be doing three videos back to back, so please join me if you may. If not, just look at them later. Praise God. Remember to tag and share. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep this very short and to the point. Pastor Antonio Rockmore, he did what was his duty. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Not everybody bashing him. That's because he's not doing status quo. But as he stated, he is accountable. You see, what you guys don't understand, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Pastors, preachers, and teachers, it so have been the norm to just allow things come on somebody hallelujah until i'm telling you they have a remnant that's not going to compromise i just said this yesterday in my video you got to stop compromising you cannot allow things now hold on he did it with love come on somebody hallelujah he called the guy out he said please sir come into the aisle and then he said please leave my church and come back dressed as a man he did what god expects him to do and he did it with love may i add come on somebody because some people would have been quite ugly and rude now of course you're going to have the other side say well um you know come as you are i, I want to go ahead and break that thing down too when the bible says because so many people and i'm just going to go here i'm very versed in the bible of course, a lot of you don't know that. Maybe you do. I'm very versed. What does that mean? I break that thing down the way it's supposed to be broken down. I'm fluent in Hebrew and in Greek studies. Hello. What come as you are mean? Come in the state that God made you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because y'all like to say, well, you know, my heart. God know my heart. Yeah, he know your heart. He know your ugliness too. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But that is not what he is saying. When he says, come as you are, he means come into the state that I made you. I made you a man. Come as a man. I made you a woman. Come as a woman. Come as you are. That means you ain't got to come all print prime. Y'all know what I'm saying. We're in the best of this, although church have turned into a Hollywood show. Let's be honest, everybody. People don't even want to go to church anymore because they feel like it's a fashion show, which in some states it is. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And what I mean by that, not states per se, when you go in there, you do feel, you know, people looking you up and down, you know, and with that little snooty look. Come on, that's not even of God. But let's stick to the matter at hand. You need to let, y'all need to lay off that man. He did what he was supposed to do. Now, like I say, the, the prestigious churches, um, the arrogant churches is going to say that he was out of order because we're in that time where they call evil good and good evil. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And, and tell you the truth, ain't nobody want to be told nothing. Everybody just want to do what they want to do. So I salute him. Way to go. You know, pray to, straight up, you know, um, I've never had that. Now. My question, I'm going to flip it around. Y'all know I like to go deeper. What made him, the guy, feel as if he could do that? That's a whole other question, right? I, I like to go behind the scenes. What made that person feel that he could go there and do that? Was that a setup? Oh, I'm sorry. I just go behind the scenes because nothing just happens. I want y'all to remember nothing just happens. Because people know your stance on a lot of stuff. So, so. Is someone else really pulling the cards, knew that that man would do that because they know what he stands for? So I would pray for him because I look behind the scene. You know, I'm a, I'm a seer. So I don't look just on the surface. Y'all just looking at what happened. I'm looking at, wait a minute, somebody sent that man in there. What, what's, what's really going on? Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I know you say, well, she always, no, 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 no. That's what wisdom and discernment do. I, I, my mother used to say that. Boy, I miss my mother. She used to say that all the time. She <laughs> I be trying to, you know, come with a with some, any kind of excuse. And mother would say, Dean, what's really going on? And that, that's what I proposed to question to this morning. What, what's really going on? Or this afternoon, may I add, what's really going on? <laughs> Because if y'all think that just happened, nothing just happens. So I'm going behind the scenes while y'all just right there. Oh, he called that man out. No, what's really going on? Hmm, right? So I'm going to be doing uh, three videos back to back. So I'm going to get started. 
Again, I salute Pastor Antonio Rockmore. You did your job, sir. God bless you. Welcome to the end time army of the Lord, because that's what we do. <laughs> you can get mad if you want to. And we really don't care. But we love you still. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All righty. So I'm going to get in it. Um, I pray that you join me for this, for these three videos. <laughs> uh, it's very, they're going to be very powerful. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what they're on right now. Um, one is going to be Jezebel, the return to, um, also the children of Israel, the return to Egypt, because God said we're doing too much. And the third one, mm, now let me tell you how crazy this is. That's why I know God is doing this thing. Hallelujah to his name. This third one is on homosexuality. Now, hold on. I did. You remember I told you guys yesterday I was going to do these? So this is before this even happened. Mm, so he in the vein. Pastor Antonio Rockmore is in the vein. Y'all can say what y'all want to say because this third one is about homosexuality. So how are you doing? I don't even know that man. God is saying something. I hope that we're listening. Come on, somebody. Don't be a surface Christian. It's too many surface Christians. You just look on the outside. God is saying something in this hour. And I pray that we are listening. Now, hold on. It is not to bash anybody because we're supposed to love people back to life. So don't get it twisted. We're not bashing anybody, any person that is confused gender. We're going to call it that way because that's what the world calls it, okay? But we call it homosexuality, right? We're to love people back to life, but I still got to tell you it's wrong. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I don't really have to tell you because you already know it's wrong. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So I'm going to get to starting. Um, please join me for these three next videos. All right. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Let's get it. <laughs> 